Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Latvia's entry for Eurovision 2024, which is Dons with the song Hollow. Got to be honest with you, I have no idea what this is, what to expect, but we're going to have a look. Can it qualify? Can Latvia qualify for the first time? Is it in six years? They've been struggling a little bit, so let's hope that Dons is the one to kind of be the saviour for Latvia. The question is, can it qualify? Can it do well at Eurovision? Let's play the intro. Now before I listen to the song, let's have a little look at his Wikipedia, see if we can find out any information on this guy. So Dons is a Latvian singer and songwriter, he is one of the most popular singers in Latvia, having won the Latvian Music, uh, Music Recording Awards, top radio hit awards seven times for the most played song. He is set to represent Latvia at Eurovision 2024 with Hollow. He has released eight solo albums and has won numerous awards including the Musical Bank Song of the Year five times. So he seems pretty established and has had a career in Latvia. At the Latvian Music Recording Awards, he has won Best Pop Album twice from five nominations for his two albums. He's won Best Rock Album as well. I mean, he, he covers all bases, this guy. Now, obviously, to represent Latvia, you have to win the national final, Supernova. To be honest, I did not follow it. I did not even listen to the songs this year just because last year's experience was just a little bit... <sighs> And also there was just so many national finals to cover that Latvia's was just not kind of a, the priority, that wasn't my priority. But I did hear of two songs that were probably the best options for Latvia and that was the Cat song. The Cat song, I'm assuming, I don't know where that came in the final. People were really liking that song. And then Dons. This was one that I did hear about. I haven't heard the song, but I've heard people go on about it and say that it's actually quite decent for Latvia. I'm excited for it. It says here that he has tried to get to Eurovision twice before in 2010 and 2014, and he finished second in the both attempts in the, la in the national final. Harsh luck, but he's finally going to Eurovision. It seems like this year we're getting a lot of people that have tried to get to Eurovision in the national finals now going to Eurovision. We've got a few of them now. Right, here, let's listen to this song. Dons with the song Hollow. Going to Eurovision for Latvia. Let's see. Okay, we've got a really dramatic start. Okay, we've got smoke on the ground. Blue suit. Okay. Oh, you'll see me crying rivers I might drown. Great voice. So we're getting the ballad. Don't Oh, that voice. Oh, will I ever find my own way out? Really delicate vocal there, really, really lovely. I don't want to lose me so cruelly. I'm drifting in and out of who I am. So okay, I love this voice. I'm hoping the song picks understand. up a little bit now. It's killing me slow, trying to make me okay. just another beat. Everybody oh. just pretending they're preachers, preachers. It's killing. Sounds like one of that uh, the Ryan Goldman songs. Yeah, I'd rather let them dig my grave shallow instead of selling the He's got an amazing so voice line. Wow. Hollow. Oh, okay. Love that chorus. I love the chorus more than the verse. Oh, to tell you all my sins, I can't escape. Really intriguing. Very, very interesting. Change. Oh, it's like a bad disease that I can't shake. Don't know what the song's about fully, I'll have to listen to the lyrics after the song. I'm drifting in and out of who I am. So help me understand. Okay. It's healing. Yeah, that's what it sounds weirdly like that back in the last song. Can't remember the song though. I 
the kind of choir that I'm hearing, the orchestra, kind of in, in the background. Yeah, I'd rather let the nig my grave shallow instead of sailing out of something so hollow. This performance is really dramatic. I think there has to be an extra element in the staging. Some is that the end? Is that it finished? Very odd structures of the song as well. I like that. I mean, I like that. That was actually really quite good. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I mean, Latvia do like to go for these kind of songs. I think this is something that they would stereotypically go for. Kind of sad boy ballad, which is... I'm fine with that. Like, I'm happy with that. Let's have a little look at the lyrics. I'm just trying to think, do I... Can I remember the lyrics? It's I can't remember the lyrics, but I can remember the melody, which is good. Okay, so the song starts out, Don't look now, you'll see me crying rivers I might drown. Don't know how, oh, will I ever find my own way out. Yeah, so, sad boy ballad. Okay. I don't want to lose me so cruelly, I'm drifting in and out of who I am, so help me understand. So is the song maybe about losing himself? Mental health, maybe? Um, trying to find who he is? Obviously quite a personal song, I think. The chorus is, it's killing me slow, try to make me just another believer. Anybody just pretend they're preachers, preachers, it's killing me slow, yet I'd rather let them dig my grave shallow instead of selling out to something so hollow, hollow. Yeah, okay, I think I got it kind of bang on the nose. If there is anything I'm missing in the lyrics, let me know. If I'm completely way off, let me know. Are you a fan of this song? Do you know the true message? This is why I really love to get interviews with artists, because I get to try and find out what the song truly is about, because no one knows better than the artist themselves. <laughs> so hopefully an interview with Don's will be on the way. But the main thing is, do, you, do can this qualify? Can this qualify? Let me see where it's performing in the semi-final. Okay, so Latvia's performing in the second half of the second semi-final. Pretty dang good. I mean, if you, that's where I'd want to be. If I was competing in Eurovision, I'd want to be in the second half. Possibly in the first semi-final, but second semi-final, fine. To be honest with you, I have no idea if this could qualify. I have to see the rest of the songs in semi-final too. We have to wait till everything's out. It's kind of borderline for me right now. I have no idea how this would do at Eurovision. As I say, sad boy ballads seem to get through. I mean, Switzerland last year got through. Poland 2022 got through. I'm trying to think of other sad boy ballads now, and I can't think of any. I mean, I'm just trying to think if Aya last year didn't get through. It, 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 this might struggle a little bit because Aya was such an amazing live performance. Even though this was also quite a, a quite a intriguing, interesting, and captivating live performance. I think they have to upgrade the staging a little bit for Eurovision. If they don't, it will struggle. His vocals, there is nothing wrong with the vocals. He's one of the best singers we have this year, without a doubt. He's very good at singing. He has got an amazing live vocal, so there's nothing to worry about there. But I think staging, upgraded a little bit, and then we're, we're maybe making moves. We're maybe making moves to the final, I think, for Latvia, which would be awesome. I'd love to see Latvia in the final with this song. It'd be great. But tell me what you think. Do you think this will qualify to the final for Latvia? Can they do it? Let me know in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision reactions exactly like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.